And my name is Minivans94, and I would like to welcome you to another random Sunday gameplay. So basically, in the background, I have the division. No big surprise, it's random. But we've got a lot to talk about. So basically, uh, let's start. Um, I mean, I guess where to start? Let's kind of go through the games and what's kind of big and whatnot. So, on. Uh. Oh, sorry about that. I do apologize. Holy cow. Ooh. Um. Let's see. Um. Um, Call of Duty. Uh, Infinite Warfare. I don't think much has changed. I think they've done a couple things with the Quartermaster, but I haven't looked into that too much. Supposedly there's another weapon or so, but I'm not sure. Um, that thing here. Modern Warfare Remastered. Uh, this weekend, Crop Pump came back. So if you haven't played it, you should probably go play it now. Just get a little bit of fun playing time with it. So that's the, that's the big news. Oh, I guess with uh, Black Ops 3, they brought back, or they brought in the AK-74U and the M1911. So that is... I mean, that's, that's cool, good for them. Uh, keeping their game relevant. And Advanced Warfare is actually doing the same. Um, every game you play on the weekend, it's like a, you get a free gun up to D3. So, this weekend again, if you haven't, you should go hop on Advanced Warfare. Because this weekend you get the m 40 some variants. The MP40. You just gotta play one game, you get the supply drop, and then you can move on. But that's cool that they're keeping their game relevant, even though Advanced Warfare is adding anything new. It's given back, I guess, the players. It's like, I didn't have the MP40, so I actually. Went back, played a game, actually had a lot of fun. I mean, didn't do great, but I, I had fun in the game. Uh, got my supply drop, opened it, got the MP40, and um, that was about it. So, it's cool, they're keeping their older games relevant a little bit. I hope uh, Infinity Ward after November we'll do the same, maybe add weapons or kind of do what Sledgehammer and Advanced Warfare are doing is, um, be like, hey, you can, at this time, you can play, like, if you play five games or something, you can get this gun automatically, I don't know, but whatever, um, so that's the big thing I guess with Call of Duty is some new guns, go get them, oh, um, the new pack of punch camo for like seven days, uh, on Black Ops 3 you can get, not, not the one for the headshot, blah, blah. not the one for the headshot challenge, uh, there's, there was another one that you can get for from Supply Drops. Supplo supposedly, it is the Revelations camo, which looks awesome. Haven't got it yet. I will keep trying. And I think that's got like a week to get it, so you, if you don't have it, you better hurry up and keep playing. Get those 
get those crypto keys. So, all right, let's move into uh, some other news. So, Rockstar. What was it? Two days ago, gave us first screenshots and details of the gun running DLC. Don't know the release date, but it looks amazing. From the couple screenshots and whatnot, it's it looks good. And some people are saying June sixth. Some are saying a little bit later, like the. 13th or the 14th, whatever Tuesday comes after that. So, we will see when it comes out. They might announce more, but they might not. But the big Exiting one the contaminated area. is that Red Dead Redemption 2 has been delayed until spring of 2018. Um, I didn't know it until, until after I heard about it, after I found out the, the delay in Red Dead Redemption 2, but most of Rockstar's games get delayed. I guess Grand Theft Auto 5 did, um, I think Grand Theft Auto 4 did, I actually don't know about the ori- uh, the original Red Dead Redemption that might have been delayed. I don't know. But I know Grand Theft Auto 5 was, and I guess Grand Theft Auto 4, and if not more, were delayed from the original uh, release timeline that they gave of like, let's say, fall of uh, 20. or. Well, I guess in this case, let's say spring of 2013 for GTA 5 is they pushed it back to September, maybe. I don't know what what the actual pushback was, but yeah. So when I heard that news, I was a little upset, but hopefully by spring of 2018, uh, a fantastic game from Rockstar will be out. Probably if they delay it one more time, I'm gonna be really upset though, and probably not play the game. Because it's. Now entering a contaminated air. Uh, it's a little ridiculous, honestly. But. I. Uh, I don't know. It's, I guess, my thoughts on why did they even announce a possible release date until they were sure. Because I think they did that, their first reveal trailer, um, many months ago. I heard like six months ago, and I'm like, wow, it's been that long since that first reveal trailer has been out. And I think in that is when they said fall of 2017. Why, why not tell us that maybe in like July, if that's gonna happen, don't get us ready for that until you kind of know. And then, so if there is a delay, then you don't have people's hope, hopes up kind of like they did here. I don't know, maybe I'm the only one that's actually frustrated that they delayed it, but... I, I think they should just not have said any release time frame at all until they kind of knew more. They were ready, so if they're like, hey, we've actually got to delay it, maybe in like July they could have been like, hey, it's spring of 2018, and we would have never known about fall of 2017. And we would have been like, okay. But, I don't know, maybe I'm just 
getting looking into that more more than I should. It's it's a game. But then again, life changes so fast. I mean, technically, so I did pre-order Red Dead Redemption 2. And life changes very quick. Uh, very fast. And not to say by fall of 2017, I was going to guarantee be playing Red Dead Redemption 2 or uh, I guess video games at all depending on what my world is in. But now, by uh, 2018, it could be like maybe December of this upcoming year, I'd be like, you know what? I'm done with video games. I, they're no fun to me anymore. And then that's to get the money back for the pre -order. It's... you never know. Life can change many things. And I think that's the thing I'm actually a little most upset about. Maybe by the spring 2018, I'm not in the video game. by fall of 2017 I could have enjoyed it. I don't know. More than likely I will still be be playing video games by spring of 2018 but again like I said life can throw a curveball at any moment and you could be like I guess maybe even in in the YouTube realm is you could be like hey I've worked really hard for this past year to get to this point of like, let's say a hundred thousand subs, and then one day you're just like, it's not me, and then that all that hard work is gone, and then your channel dies and you're stuck there. I don't know. I think that was a bad example. Yeah. I, I think when I first popped in my Work. No, it didn't work. Um, but you get the point. It's, things happen. It will just be a, a delay on making Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. So hopefully you guys get to enjoy Red Dead Battle 5 for a little bit longer. And also maybe I might throw in some original Red Dead Redemption, just because, why not? But basically, I'm actually going to end the video there, hopefully you guys enjoyed, um, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and basically, until my, yeah, <laughs> I cannot, oh Jesus, this entire video was a mess for me talking and yawning and what not. Basically, I'm I'm recording this, and I've been up for 10 minutes, so that is why. But again, if you enjoyed, I'd appreciate a like, subscribe to the channel, and until night, until my next video, I'll catch you guys next time.